Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a big milestone in the channel, hit 5,000 subscribers. I never thought I would get here, and it's all because of you guys. I really appreciate every single one of you guys that watch the channel, give me pointers and input. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is awesome, I love YouTube. But we gotta finish up that door. I'm tired of working on the doors, but they gotta get done. So let's just go to work, guys. Let's go. Guys, I have sanded and sanded and sanded and sanded tons 80 grit 120 220 and i'm gonna go ahead and prime it at 220 and just see how that thing how it goes from there it, it's it's pretty smooth it's way better than it was i thought about going to 400 and then doing it maybe uh this will give it something more to stick to just hitting with 220 so i'm just gonna try that and go ahead and reprime this thing and then see where we're sitting all right the spray time let's here we go again Yep, guys, it still needs some work, you can tell, but it does look way better than it did before. That's for sure. All right, I've got some other parts in here. These are, I guess you say, where the vent goes that heads over to the passenger side. And here's some other parts to it. I am going to go ahead and paint these because I was, uh, I messed up really bad. I was a retard. Got this, I did not paint. The edge that I needed to paint, I actually painted this back edge, ha, oh well, made a mistake. So I gotta sand it down, ready to paint it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flat kill, matte clear all these other parts that are hanging here. And so at least everything but the door will be good. The door is sitting right out here and it still needs a lot of work, guys. So I wanna go ahead and finish these up. That way I don't have them all hanging and in the way. All right, let's throw some high gloss on the parts that need high gloss. Only two of them. And then after that, we'll mat glue the rest. Here we go. Let's let that dry. One more coat of gloss clear on those two items and the rest are matte. Coat two. Let's throw down some mat. Okay, all of these pieces are done. They turned out great. So, yep, yeah, these are glossy. Kind of hard to see in here. But I'm going to go ahead and get all these pieces and take them inside. Well, back at this door. See if we can get this thing perfected. All right, guys. So I got my new weather stripping for each door. This is from Federal Military Parts. So one, yep, two, three, four. Hey, what do you know? Two koozies. Cool. Let's go ahead and throw two of them on. I've got every part here for the other door, but I don't have the doors done yet. Because that, that door, I, I'm telling you right now, it's taking so much work. So let's just go ahead and trim this out and go ahead and get these two bottom pieces on go ahead and rivet those on so i get that weather stripping on both of these doors and yeah they'll be good to go other than the glass all 
All right, guys, these are labeled right rear. And this is, yep, right rear. This kit's pretty awesome because they come already cut. Like if it just came in one big roll, how it stretches, you might be off and you get to the fourth door and you're off by like four inches. Hopefully, I mean, probably too little. So I'm glad it's like this. All right. And the brake right here is always at the bottom in the center. That's the brake. So we're gonna start feeding it on this side, wrap it all the way around, go ahead and feed it on that one and meet them up. Okay, this is good. So it looks like they give you some excess. I got it all the way around to there. That's gonna be about halfway. I might push it just a little bit more. It's still a pain to get this through, but it's not the end of the world. You just kinda kinda Bunch it up there a little bit and just keep rotating it. Once it makes it all the way through, it, it really evens it up. But this is a great example of why you want to um, clean these channels out as best as you can. Because it's still difficult. All right. Now, let's take our piece here. Slide it up here where it's going to go. This is where I hope I don't mess up the door. What happens is this channel is a little bent in still. Slightly, not terrible. I wanna go ahead and give it some taps and see if I can get it to get seated. Okay, my goodness, look at my greasy fingerprints. Okay, I'm gonna get the drill right here, go down in these holes, make sure they're all widened out because it's just not exactly perfect, but do that, put some rivets in it. This door is much better, guys. Look how good the holes line up. This is because I bent this one back. This wasn't my first one. So yeah, way better. There they are, guys. So the weather stripping has a little bit of oily, I guess you'd say like a, feels like a silicone on them. I'm sure it's just to make them slide easier and everything else but it does get all over the doors, all over my fingers. So I'll give them a, I mean, obviously when we put these things on there, I just wiped them down with that rag towel that I had, but they look really good. So I definitely learned from my first door onto the second, much, much easier fitment because I used 
this. Where is it? Over here. I spilled the whole water down here. Jeez. These little things. So I put these in the channel and was able to widen it out. Really, really helped out. Cheap little tool, but works. So guys, while I was down here, I went ahead and bolted on these latches that I had spray painted, these latches, because uh, I had the rivet gun down here. Went ahead and riveted the center on here, and these are just bolts. I just used two new stainless steel bolts. And over here, I still got to do this one. Here's the latches and everything. And here's the hardware. Just while I was down here, I was like, you know what? Might as well put this on while I got the rivet gun. Okay, back on this door. It's like third time I've sanded this thing. Let's try round three with priming this door. I've been sanding and sanding. See what it looks like. All right, here it is after one coat. I'm still seeing a little crack. There's a little bit of bubbles. See if some of this will fill in. It's even a crack. That's where the fiberglass is coming through. It's not cracked all the way through. Man, after so much sanding, the door is looking way more presentable, but it's still not there. You can still see right in here, these corners, and they're so hard to sand just from the angle that you have to get in there and you have to do it with your hand. So it's no, it's no fun. It's just a very time consuming. I'm gonna hit it again with one more coat and see how it goes. It is the next day here, guys, and this is the door that never ends. So I just applied another coat of filler just in some little tiny places that it needed. It is coming around, though. It's looking a whole lot better. Right, Jack? Right, Nola? Yeah. So it's definitely looking better. I did the underneath side, too. So I'm going to let this dry. Sand again. I am so sick and tired of sanding this door. And you know what's worse? I know you guys are just as tired of seeing these doors as I am, but I got one more. So, goodness gracious. But they're not gonna fix themselves. We all know that. Okay, I am down here wet sanding. I finally sanded off all my glaze and putty where I put over the you know the spots that needed it again hopefully this is the last time this is number four so a lot of work to get this door right let me finish uh rinsing it off do the other side and let's prime it again well boys this is about as smooth as i can possibly get this door it looks amazing it really really does i'm going to go ahead and shoot primer one more time there may be a pinhole or two in this thing but this looks so much better than what this door looked like in the beginning. So if you guys are gonna buy doors that are already really rough, and that's the best deal you're gonna get on them is buying them really cheap on eBay. I ended up getting these doors for $800. Still a lot of money, but good luck finding these things in good shape. And I cannot stand these aftermarket X doors. It pisses me off every time I look at them because the window is a camper window. It's a camper window. Who in their right mind would put a camper window in there? It takes away, to me, takes away from the Humvee and what it's supposed to look like and what it's supposed to be. Like I want my three eighths inch thick glass in, this, in the window, not a sliding camper window out of a camper. So I do not like the aftermarket doors for the Humvees at all. So I would rather take my time, do that door up right there just like that, Take my really, I mean, honestly, take my time. This is taking ridiculously too long. And I know you guys are tired of looking at these doors. I am too. And I got one more to go. I cannot wait to get on something else on this Humvee. But I don't like the aftermarket doors. 
So yeah, guys, I don't want to pay, you know, $5,000 for a new set of doors. They look great and all, but you can get the same result doing it yourself. And this is living proof of it. But if any of you guys do have those aftermarket doors, drop a comment down below. I want to tell me what you think of them. Tell me what you think of the fitment. Tell me what you think of color matching. I don't know if that's even an option, but just tell me exactly what your take is on those aftermarket doors. I've never had a set. I just looked at them and I just, I just don't like them. That's just personal preference for me. But if you guys do have something to say about those doors, let me know. All right, it's dark outside. Time to shoot. So guys, I just finished coating coat three. It's soaking wet right now, but it actually looks really, really good. It really does. It's still drenched. All that hard work paid off. Okay, we are taped up, ready for clear. Well, fellas, there you go. I put two coats really thick. I still got my mask on. Sorry, it's uh, whew. still foggy in here. That looks beautiful, dude. It might be better looking than my other doors. That was a whole lot of work, but it's not done. Still got to mat clear the rest once this dries and tape all the tape off and we'll shoot that tomorrow, fellas. You know, I was bragging about the old blue tape right here. Not so much today. Look at the residue. That's not paint peeling up either. I just moved that with my finger. That is just sticky stuff. So I'm gonna have to really let this dry before I come back and try to retape because you left sticky stuff. Come on. Oh yeah, so when I was uh, pulling the tape, Look what happened. This corner, you can tell this door had at some point been dropped on this corner pretty hard. And um, yep, luckily the majority of this is gonna be covered by the track that goes along the edges. But probably, you know, a quarter of an inch is gonna be sticking up right there. So I'm gonna get some paint, put it on a Q-tip or something, fill that in to where it looks pretty decent. Probably do it a couple times, kind of layer it up there and uh, just go from there. But at least all this down here won't be seen. It'll be covered up by this little guy right there. Tell you what though, can't have anything nice, nothing. All right guys, it is time for clear coat. I did go ahead and shoot it with one more coat of actual paint where that bottom was. The Q-tip idea just wasn't working. Now it looks great because also when I picked the door up down here in this corner was the exact same way. It was just kind of, you can see where it had got dropped, but at least that drip edge or the frame is going to cover all that. So it looks good. Let's uh, shoot it. All right. So I'm going to get a video of someone a little better looking than, uh, you know, this fella to do some <laughs> unmasking. It's still a tad tacky there, ma'am. Yeah, let's go. Right. Just. So do you want me to start here? Yeah. You got the nails. Very easy. Always pull down, right? Yeah. I mean, you painted plenty of houses. Looking good so far. Looking real good, Nancy. Real good. Well, at least if you can help doing this kind of stuff and there's a dog barking in the background, it'd be pretty good. He just wants to come in. He does. Guess who got a new car today? <laughs> Out with the old and with the new. 
So I ended up getting a 2020 BMW X5 M50i. Yep, M series. Thing's quick. I like it. Great deal on it. That Cadillac, the Escalade. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I'm glad it's gone. So there you have it guys. The door is 100% complete. Got the weather stripping and all. Let me pause it real quick. I'm gonna flip around and show you the other side. Looks amazing. What a transformation that that door went through. Okay, here's the back side. Man, I love the flat with the gloss mixed in there. It looks so good. All my hardware, remember I just spray painted these. So this is all stuff you can do yourself, guys. It just takes a lot of time. Again, I don't have the glass yet. It should be coming eh, sometime soon. No really rush for the glass though. But they look amazing. One more door. And I don't want to see him again. <laughs> so guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. What an amazing transformation that this thing took on. I can't, I just, I can't believe it. And to have 5,000 subscribers, the door turned out amazing. I just really appreciate every one of you guys for watching and everything, all the comments you guys give me. Keep it up. Let's see if we can double that subscriber amount sometime soon. So you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys in the next one. See ya.